well-groomed animals competing as children's pets at a Tokamariro A&P show. These much-loved lambs and ponies, just some of the many displays in Milton on Saturday. Despite cows and cattle being absent due to the risk of Mycoplasma bovis, the show saw good numbers of other livestock on exhibit. Entries are up on horses this year, we're up to 150 uh, actual horses, that's not, and then obviously multiple entries from different horses. Uh, sheep numbers were up a wee bit on last year. While rain had initially threatened to spoil the day, McElray says the show was a success. As a relatively new member to the society's committee, presiding over the A&P show has been a challenge for him. I had one year as junior vice, and then I went straight into president, so I didn't. It was a bit of a steep learning curve, but uh, have a great committee, and uh, they helped me a lot and learnt a lot. But I've had to learn a lot about horses and had to learn a lot about things which I didn't know a lot about in a hurry. Tours of the nearby Calder Stewart factory were on offer and the Milton Crash Rescue Team put on a display of their role in the community. It's real good just to show the community what we do and how we do it and we do it safely and to benefit the community and also upskill ourselves. And of course, no A&P show is complete without a grand parade to wrap up the day. In Milton, for the South Today.